two weeks down here in the basement and I was going to do it three weeks but I figure now's a good time to go got lots of good stuff coming up new sign over here just do a wall report um, every drawer over there is turned around first one not turned around is somewhere over here I think I got them all in this row all in that row this is where it starts and we actually broke into this is all I have here we're on we're on three one one zero the first one got a number more and we are up early today <laughs> could have been up earlier but I stayed in bed for a little bit longer <laughs> let's see what we gotta do here Ooh, I like to see this email in the morning. Works in pieces order. Sold the last one. 50 bucks. Seven of them have been sold in the last month. Alright, here's our BrickLink site. What do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight orders. Um, monetarily, not too much. We have 89 lots, which is, that'll take me a half an hour or so. And on Brickow, we have three. There are the numbers, so. Um, and on eBay, oh, I got one of those for 75 bucks new. The Beatles Mosaic. 17 items, so let's get to work. All right, got all my labels ready. We went through a couple book lots. Just one, actually. Yeah, I have two more over there I have to go through. Um, some animal things that have to get listed. And then my daughter used the encyclopedia and got me the names. And She wanted to draw other things for me, she said, to make me smile. <laughs> but these are all done with all the names on the inside of there, like that one. All right, here's this box of minifigs. None of these have numbers. It's just a box that sits there and just yesterday I think I lowered a ton of the prices because I only had 55 items that did not have numbers or remark codes in my whole store and I don't know there's probably like 15 of them that were in here of that so three of them sold there that one had a number got a note on it can't wait to start buying and selling on here I love Lego and can't wait to build with my brother thank you for teaching and showing the love of Lego the, this, the subject was Love your video, so we'll leave great feedback because I know everything will be perfect. But thank you for an order, and I ch definitely checked them. Um, they are definitely great shape for use. Like, I try to only do that for city figs, otherwise, it's not even worth me putting them up if I can find a bunch of good condition stuff, which I don't normally have time to do it. And actually, my son put most of these up, so he what he did is I'd pay him to identify them, he can do up to like five of each. So then that's his number, and he'd just give them to me, and I'd pay him, and I'd put them up real quick, and there they are. Alright, here's an order, packed, or pulled. Um, there's the, I use the yellow for the used parts, if it's most small orders I can. If it's a huge order, then sometimes it gets overflown, but then I just uh, I figure it out. So here are all the new parts, lots of... Uh, colors so that's good and I got a, a note here been watching your channel since lockdown best of luck I record lo-fi rock music and I'm making Lego backgrounds for me for videos thanks <laughs> cool you want to record an intro send it on over I might use it in my videos I don't know I've been looking for a new one um, but yeah there's here's the order all right, on to photographs. First, first one's going up here on eBay, Tommy. And then uh, the next one is Citizen Brick. I'm going to auction this off at one penny free shipping. 
and I think I'll put this one um, as a buy it now. But this, because I don't really know what a lot of this stuff is, people just search Citizen Brick lot on eBay. So, I know this roach one is a Grenader, a Vietnam Grenader. And then Camel Pants might have went with that, I'm not sure. Uh, we saw this one for sale, my son said, currently. And we're not sure what that tan head is there. Alright, there's that one. One penny starting bid. So on February 1st at 8.12 a.m. Central Time, it will end. And what, free shipping? Auction. Let it fly. Well, here's what I paid for ink for the last 30 days. $48 is with tax. So I have a 7. It used to be $19.99. They've jacked it up. And you could also get uh, additional sets of 20 pages for a dollar each. Now you get 15 pages. So I really racked it up this month. I mean, I was paying like 28 bucks before they jacked all this up. Or I might have printed more, I don't know. Um, but I see that they add, they change plans. They have a high volume, 50 bucks a month. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta change printers. Stick with this for a little bit longer because I'm on the, that one with 700 pages. So 21 times 15 extra, I, I printed over a thousand pages last month. And we use it for, you know, family stuff too. It's not just the business. So that number, we do, you know, homeschooling, so there's some printing going on with that. So that is why it's more, I think, um, either way, I'll think about it. So I've had multiple requests on um, my monthly recap videos to show my expenses. So I did create a spreadsheet that I'm gonna try to track real time. I have done a pretty good job so far. It's January 22nd, so uh, I got 75 line items. Well, not quite, there's minus one for the top. 74 line items. So I track everything and I put an expense type. There's really only three, I think, office supply, inventory, and fees. I think that is all I really track. Since I don't have shipping on here, I'll do that at the end of the month. I'll just add it up then. Um, so here's our expenses so far for January with, what, nine days left. <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, I'm, it's just Bricklink gets me. I have so many Bricklink orders. I keep saying I just shouldn't buy so much on Bricklink, but it really helps the, the eBay business stay so loaded with stock. It really does help, and I have so much that I could, in the end, because I put a lot of it away. I don't. So some things I get multiples of, I put for sale in my my Bricklink store, but it's rare. I don't do it too often, unless I'm actually buying it to do that from like the bulk sellers that are really good deals. So eventually, I might go through it and relist a lot of that stuff, as I'm I'm unbulking my eBay store a little bit, trying to get more new items, and. Um, so that uh, I can just sell them and not have to remake them every morning because that kind of takes a lot of time but man yeah I bought some sets too some good sets coming some new stuff all right we finally got done listing everything it's lunchtime now yeah, I actually have to do my cards that I sold today so there's not very many but we got to 1269 it's been a little bit since I showed any numbers because I haven't been doing this for a while um, so eBay has been very good. And uh, here's our Bricklink store. 10,879 lots. Boom. And I'm hoping to add 8 times 8, 6,000 parts tomorrow. We'll see if that happens. Not sure yet. I got one piece of mail today so far. And I don't know, I, I ordered more than this. This is from Target. I think they sent it in two shipments. It's a brand new set. Not everywhere we're selling it yet, so. Um, I have three more here I got from Kohl's, I want to say. I'm not, I'm not even sure how many I ordered total. Now I have four of those. This is what I hope to do tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on how many, how many orders I have to pack up in the morning. If not, I might just do this little thing right here. Just if I don't feel like parting out. Uh, hoping I just enter everything and have somebody put it away for me. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but this part out pile, ooh, I got a couple more of these. 
So now I have four new new sets of these. I'm ready to part them out. That's good enough for me. I've already sold this figure that I got for $55 um, from a used set I pulled it out of. So here's this one's missing one wheel or something. And then this oh, this one is sealed. So these are all the one bag is open, but it's all there it seems. So we'll have to just verify parts as we do it. So we got four of those. That's gonna come soon. And I have I think I have one or two used of these now. I went nuts. I said why not? Found it. So taking lunch now. Alright, the USPS mail came. Got a box here. And this is from a eBay seller. I only came to the store because they had black capes. Black capes seem to be very difficult to find lately. I saw that someone in Brooklyn had a ton of them, like a hundred of them, um, for two fifty. And then the next day I went, I was like, I just gotta buy them. I can't find them. They were gone. Got some red ones just so to get some better deals on it. And then this I got. Um, this is from. Dr. Bricks, it was Barter Vault Collectibles. He changed his name. So he approached me and said, if I buy some new sets from the store, would you want to buy the pieces? And he takes the minifigs. And I said, sure. Um, now this is the one with these dinosaurs. I already parted this out recently, but should not be too big of a part out for me. There's six of those, I think. And I need to forget how many of these are. This is that new Minecraft set with the, the weird new zombie guy. Um, so that. And then there's two battle line tatooines in there, that one and that one. So, so I pay about 35, I want to pay about 35% of the part out value, no more than 40 out the door with shipping. So that's basically what I got it for about 40% of what the actual parts average sell for on all these. So, so then I can, it's about a two and a half times um, profit margin roughly. And then obviously fees and stuff take more away from from it, but you know, uh, he said he was just gonna try it out. He might do more in the future if they sell well. He sells on eBay just like me, so got him. And the, uh, he he said his friend got him four more of these, or somebody knows. So I'm getting four more of these coming. I bought ten of these myself, all full complete sets on the way. Um, just because I was getting these, I'm like, why not? Why not buy some? Get some of the figures myself and things like that. I'm going to be adding eight of these pods at this moment. I think I got them for $4.49. They were on some clearance from LEGO directly. I think they might even still have them. Not a 100% sure, but we're going to part these out. All right, in the middle of putting these up. So far, they're working out just fine. These are actually all the same, so that'll be easy. And I'll see how many minifigs we have for sale on Bricklink, because it's been getting up there. I've been having more sales of minifigs, and it's been nice to have those... 20 30 dollar sales and it's just like grab five items i had a couple of capes and made some uh pretty rare figures there i've sold this guy for over 30 bucks on ebay multiple times but um capes got expensive i bought all the cheap ones and now found another one and this guy is a good almost 20 dollar figure on ebay so with a nice really nice cape on there i'm not showing you the cape sorry can't see the quality um so I, just, I said I was going to check the minifigs. 10,900 lots, 657. And we're almost back up to 1,300 on eBay. It was like 1278 just after I relisted the stuff I rebuilt earlier. So we're doing good. Um, so yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it to 11,000 this weekend, but we're going to try unless I get, get a bunch of sales and take some down. Ooh, we're two orders away from 4,500. And then one other thing. Um, and you know your orders. Oh, what I want to show you here is 1,393 orders. I never delete any orders, so this is like a rolling six month thing, 180 days. So if I double that, we're like $2,800 I'm averaging per year. 2,800 orders I'm averaging per year going forward right now. It keeps going higher. Now we're moving on to animals. I already did probably half what I had already. <laughs> Gotta get in the habit of filming everything. Uh, I've got a bunch, of, a bunch of horses. Put that scooter for sale, the horse warmer that nice horse those horses some little horses one of these horses i think it's uh it's finally this one is worth more than that one i think that one is cooler but 
That one's going to go for like almost four bucks. That one's just over three. And we keep on going. Got another less than an hour left to work on Friday. I'm going to finish this up. And whatever's on this tray, then just we'll start working on a few of these. I have this year because I have to order more business cards. I'm about out of my last box. I can give it like less than 200 left. So, that's a reminder. I've had it all week and I haven't done it yet. So, maybe I should just do it. So, I ordered 5,000 of them. Uh, last time I ordered 2,500, and there's and I paid, I don't know, 270 for 5,000. I can get more. I can save like 50 more bucks if I get another 5,000. I'm not going to do it. Um, but they come to just over five cents each. Last time I ordered them, they were seven cents each. So that is a savings, and it all adds up in the end. It should last me well over a year. Last time I got them on June, in June, so not even so about seven, eight months ago almost, I got them, and they're pretty much gone. I think I have more in my convention stuff still, probably 500, I think. But either way, I have a lot more now. All right, UPS just came, so we've had FedEx, UPS, and the ma regular mail today. I'm guessing this is Kohl's. The other one I'm not really sure what it is. It's not Amazon. So, we showed earlier. One, two, three, four, five. I think I got eight from them. I think I got three the other day. I just got one from Target today or yesterday. So, I think I have more coming from Target. I'm not 100% sure. And then this. Oh, I know this. Another uh, eBay lot I scored. I think it was just under 180 bucks, but I had some good stuff. And this is the only eBay thing I have coming. That's a really good one. Um, at this point, so we'll see if that changes anytime soon. Captain Tarpo's body, and there's his head, so we will definitely be going through that this weekend at some point. Alright, taking this upstairs. I think we're going to watch Captain America Civil War. Um, none of the kids have ever seen any of the superhero movies, so I'm going to start watching some here and there on our Friday night movie night. So, so this will be what I'm doing tonight. Um, I showed not too long ago. We're at 31.49. I had to label these um, during my last part out because it was one drawer short. So I counted it down, so I got to make sure. I guess I could duplicate it. Not a big deal. Then we're almost there. Expansion. All right. <laughs> we're into the last row. Somehow I'm missing one. But that one is out right here. So I took it from down there. Not sure where it is. Um, we got to that number. I think it's about 150 more. So we're looking at close to 3,600 when we're done. So good progress. Saturday morning. I was up at 4.30, but I went back to bed, so good thing. I would have been tired. 12 on UA. Very slow. 3 on Brick Owl. Not very many things to pull. And then we have 6 on Bricklink. Again, not much to do. It's a good thing because I'm going to add 7,000 parts, and I did the math correct, 800 times 9 sets, here we go. Alright, I have everything ready for a Brick Lincoln Brick Owl, I even printed out all the shipping labels already, because they're so small, they're not weighing over 4 ounces, and Lloyd, it's been a few weeks, buddy, I haven't, he's just been standing there, waiting for some action, so I'm going to go take a quick break, get coffee real quick, and then start on this. All right, we're back and uh, let's see how long it takes to do, was it nine? Nine orders. Add about three minutes for printing out the labels. I didn't put them on the envelopes yet, so let's do this. I gotta get over to my station, get everything fired up. Well, the first order I packed up had a part from that Knight's Kingdom 2 set. It was a black torso with the dark red hands. And then this is the second order. It's complete. It's one lot. These were both from that set. It had like the hands to the scorpion thing. Let me, I still have the box. Let me just, uh, the box is kind of damaged, but it, I kept it anyway. I mentioned before that uh, after I put this up in, I had eight sales of parts. 
to lose this clause within the first three days. And they're nice sales too. All right, here was the first order, if you want to know. Be sure there's a second order. Let's see if we can get them all on this. Here's the third order, the last one for Brick Owl, Anakin Legs. All right, here's the first uh, Bricklink order out of six. They got all green and yellow lantern stuff. <laughs> nice. All right, second Bricklink order, five lots, 61 items. I think it's the biggest bulk of, an, of, a, of the order, 61. Um, just checking it here. So there's 61. Yeah, then there's one lot, one part, 13 lots, 13 parts, five lots, five parts, one lot, four parts. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to show the last order. It's already packed up. It's It was a Klaus minifigure. Ninjago, $5 figure. All right, here's order number four. It's the Jurassic World. Guy had Simon. And 13 lots, 13 parts. Here's order number five of six. Looks like they built a minifig <laughs> with the Princess Leia hologram thing. All right, here's the final order. And I know this is someone that um, watches the video, so thank you for the order. There's no note, but I, I remember the name here. And uh, thanks to everyone that takes places orders here. So can you get this thrown in? We'll just add a minute. Oh, we'll just say seven. 7 a.m. it took us to light up, buddy. So printing the labels, we'll just call that 6.30 to 7.30 30 minutes for nine orders. All right, clear table. Got um, dividers here that I'll be using for sure. Got Lloyd watching over me. This is just stuff I, a lot of it's sorted. Got to get for sale or there's still more sorting to do. Actually, I want to talk about this. There's like accessories that are sorted in here, like backpacks and weapons, and these ones are not sort of just general accessories. And then I found a few more bags. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't put them all for sale because <clears throat> there's even some headgear ones in there. These are just advent calendar things. I'm just at some point when I just throw them into orders at some point, I think, for giveaways. It's not much, but it's something free. And uh, so yeah, lots of work ahead. So back to this, I'm gonna do this uh, my old way of um, parting out where I'm putting, I'm putting all the drawers on the table. We have been just using all these empty ones because I haven't been doing it too much. And my son will sort of in there and then um, we'll go one by one, bring it over to the wall and add them. And I did contact this company which I had to go, I looked them up online, I couldn't find it, but it's actually called Accent Home Products. So I have one extra one in here. Um, I asked them if, they could, if I could buy, purchase 200 of these small drawers. I almost bought little cups to do to sort into, but I love the fact that if I could have you know, extra hundreds of these, that they're the exact same size of what I'm, I'm putting it into. So I, there's no guessing as far as will it fit. So hoping they get back to me, I just sent them a message yesterday. And uh, all it's fails, you can just buy a bunch of cabinets and take the drawers and destroy the cabinets, but I don't want to do that. So now my next step is um, actually pulling it up on my tablet. And then I'm going to start pulling where up uh, right here is the first open drawer. Start pulling a bunch of these getting it set up got to get my uh, music going I got these as a 10 year anniversary gift for my current company which yeah I get lots of good benefits from that company but we'll see what happens in the future and for these big part outs I like to close my store just I have to put a reason I'm working on my inventory folks do I feel bad for ripping these apart I don't know What's up to down? There we go. It's a nice little set. I had dreams of making a Lego city down here for the kids, but it's been overtaken by this this place. I've been filling my sticker book up quite nicely, and uh, with these, you know, you don't have to just put stickers in them. I don't have this Chima online thing. I don't know why I have that in there, but. It's something that you can put for sale. So you could put multiple ones in. I just had singles of some things. I'll just put that one in there for this. 
This is a huge shot, three different size pages. That's the big one. It's got posters and stuff in there. And then this is the ones I use for my cards, or these are for sports cards, whatever. It's ripped. And uh, then you keep going. So, that's the first part in the set to enter that number, and we're gonna start moving. So, the way I do it, I have this, my phone, I gotta turn it on the second page where it tells me where if I already have a part. 878. And I come and grab it so I know that that part is in the set. That one's ready to go. Um, actually, see, like the first one, two, three, four, five, six parts I already have in my store. Um, so I'll grab all those. I did check, it has like 250 lots, and about half of them I don't have from the set in my store for sale. Why isn't that focused? These darn lights. But anyway, so I'm going to definitely drop that price down. I think that's way too much. I guess it's it's a nice sticker sheet though. It's got some train stuff, but I'll definitely drop it a little bit and uh, pull a bunch of drawers out and get going. So the way I do this, you need a lot of room for it. Um, so right now I'm opening. I'm not sure what bag I open, but getting all the blackouts. So that's the first one in the list, and um, and then I'll go from there as as you get through the colors you don't have so much on the table anymore but I gotta open the rest of these. This is actually a lot of black. It's probably the majority. Close to majority. Alright I have all the bags sorted by color. Now you don't need to do this but to me it makes it more efficient while I'm adding the numbers because I only need to look in this pile for black not through everything for the one I'm looking for. So once black is done I try to do it by alphabetical that's bright light orange will come up but then dark brown this one will come over the dark tan and then there could be some other little ones in there but light bluish gray will come up then reddish brown or medium nougat reddish brown so on and so forth so let's draw all the minifigs in the same one i like how they do that with the cape box i've never seen that they, sh they can you can see the cape in there I won't be using it for the Dementor, some of them I'll be using them for the Electro Gestro from Nexonite. So now we move. What time is it? It's at 7.34. So to kind of go through this some more, as I pull these drawers, so you can't see it, um, like I pulled the 878 already I showed you. There's 36 so you got. This is where you, math is important for you young folks out there. I put in nine sets. So <laughs> I guess for this phone, I could have just put in the one because I'm not actually uploading using this phone, I'm just looking at it for reference. So 36 divided by nine is four. So that means is I have to find four of them and I put it in there. I put them all as I go through and then so there's 27 of those. So that means there's three of the little claws. Here they are. And keep on going. All right. Finally got the black done. Cleared here. Let's gotta put this away. I had to move a lot of drawers, probably over 10, to make room. So I had a lot of these parts. So a lot of the parts in the set I already had for black. And uh, hopefully it's not the same for the rest. Well I already know it's about half and half, so about 120 I do not have in my store. And 120 some I do. So I'm guessing in here are four of these metal things. I did not sort them out, so we'll find out. There they, there they roll. Huh? Oh, there's, oh, there was two in each set. So there's two in each box for four total bars in each set. All right, we have everything set up here, and uh, I'm gonna hit this verify, and then wait, gotta wait for it to to load. It's a moment of truth, right? There's one thing in here that you gotta watch out for. I can't remember what it is now. I'm sure once I start sorting the parts out, I'll remember. Uh, but there was one difference on something that I thought was of note if you're not paying too much attention or you don't know too much about all the different molds. and or It's not a different mold. It's just similar to something else that you have to just keep an eye out for. But I'll figure that out. Um, so let's check the numbers. Let me turn off this. The glare light here. 
<clears throat> so there's one part I got to put away still. This one I had to, I don't know if they're all with the rounded corners just on the bottom, but the one in the first set only had rounded corners, so I'm going to add them all as that, and I'll check them and adjust if necessary when I sort them out of the bag. So this is the two, three, seven, five. Let me just grab that one. So I have it set up. I think, yeah, they'll fit. I only need nine in there, so. And that goes on the end. Well, actually that kind of goes in the middle somewhere. <laughs> I'll have to move some stuff. So I got these probably on average, mostly were $55 um, with, you know, tax and stuff. Let's say 60 times nine is $540. And this is without the minifigs. And then subtract, you know, 20 to 25%. I'd have a sale. Battery died in the middle of my spiel, spiel there or whatever. So I, I have a backup down there. So I didn't, for like the first year of this vlog, I didn't even have a backup. I probably got one like nine months ago, I'd say. And it was really annoying when it would die. <laughs> so it's like 30 bucks for a different new battery. So it's worth it. Um, so 7,136 items. So let's just say we sell them for $1,100. We're making just on the parts about a $600 profit, and then the minifigs are all profit. So this is a very good, very good part out in terms of you know the whole dollar amount, whether it's three times a part out, which some people hold steady on, doesn't matter in my case. My business is built. I guess you'd want to do the three times if you're trying to really build up your business and you know use all the funds that you make to buy more stuff, but I am definitely well past that point where I don't need to make those, um, you know, critical financial situations or decisions. Um, let's upload this where it's going to, you know, affect me for a few months if I don't get the best values. There we go. It is uploaded. I'm going to go to the main computer. I got to turn on my store after I uh, sync this up with um, using brickpacker.com to sync it to my brick owl store. So, and then the best part about doing it this way is I can just leave. I haven't had breakfast yet. It's it's 920. So would that take just over 90 minutes, I think, to enter all the numbers, maybe hour 45. And I may I, I told my son if you want to do this. I think I said 30 bucks was for eight doing the other eight. This one's gone. Out of here. And then um, I'm gonna cut all those open and make piles here of each bag number and then take a break for now. There it is. We hit the eleven thousand lot mark. Wow. Wow, it's it's tons of work, folks. Tons of work to get to that point. 233,156 items. They actually, this had a... Oh, maybe it was this I was talking about. This They have a pack of three wheels. I don't know if it makes sense to part it out. Because they go for... It's like five something, I think. Let me go back to that price guide. Uh, they're black. Yeah, they go for five bucks new um, so if you do part out black this is so look at that that's the average prices you get two of these ones and they actually so the top one here that says seven actually sells for about four four fifty and then this one that you get two of actually sells for four so I'm gonna take a couple of those off and part them out as well at this point because there's no reason to have what is it 18 bags when I could you know keep I'd probably do eight bags and then 10 I'll part out because that just seems makes more sense to me to have uh, you know that variety there so that says 21 items I had to change the number on change the drawer and 124 were already in my uh, system here from brick packer there be the pile and another pile all right, everything is put away. I just kept going. Had a couple breaks here and there, but all oh, the lights doing a handstand. I can't see the time. It's 1 119, 114. 114 p.m. I'm just going to leave this out here for a bit. We'll put this away later. I had lots of helpers. I only did one bag by myself and the rest had a helper each one, so it went very fast. And it's looking good. All right, we have a hole. Move it on down. Oh, there we go. Holy, 
missed one. Gotta do those next week, four of those. So, part out pile is looking pretty pathetic. There's that. And then we have some down there. There's nothing behind this one. So we have the, well there's this set. I'm not partying out there, but Thanos is going soon. They're at some more stuff. Oh yeah, these are single sets. All right, did some reorganization. Pretty much most of the stuff is not gonna be parted out. Um, but I moved everything over here. So there's, there's a good number, it's pretty, deep in there. I did not get the Walmart clearance and it shows, that's for sure. <laughs> Otherwise, this would be loaded. I took pretty much everything out of here. I have uh, the, whatever, the clock tower. I have one there, one there, and I have two more coming. Um, that again, I don't think I'll ever part that. I'll probably sell it complete. And that's the stuff I just got with no figures, but just parts. And then there was a box back there. has this stuff got this over two years ago and I when I got it all I did was I think some of these parts were sorted already but I sorted all the colors better I put things I saw would go to some of the sets that had instructions there's some uh, figures in here and I don't know when I'm ever gonna get to this look at that Look at that. I don't think it has the inner... Oh, it slides out. Oh, it does have the inner box in there. Does it? I don't want to break this even more than... So this one's actually in pretty good shape. It does have the inner box. Cool. Um, so someday... Here's that someday statement. Someday we're going to get... Try to complete these with the boxes. I don't know if the instructions are here either. I don't remember that part of it. There's more boxes. Ooh, the Cycle Fix a Trap. I've actually had that before without the box, so I sold it. Ooh, Black Tron. That is cool. So, neat history in here. All right, here's the wall report before I head up for the weekend. Gotta get ready for the Packers game tomorrow. If they win, they're going to the Super Bowl. Hopefully that happens. We'll see. Um, we're up to 3-1. Seven, seven. And there's probably oh, between 30 and 50 drawers turned around. Not too many beyond this point somewhere because I filled them all up to here on Friday. So whatever I packed up this morning, there's a few around. But and in, in here, but I really I'm glad I numbered this last night. It was not numbered. I think here I did not have numbers yet. So we went down to there. There's too many that didn't have numbers, but either way. This store is looking good, 233,000 parts, but there's some uh, orders rolling in today. Well, no running this weekend. Good food and fun football. All right, it is Monday morning. It's not PM, that's AM. And uh, here's our eBay sales. We're gonna check out the Bricklink stuff here in a moment. All right, eBay is done. Was it 5.13 a.m.? And we have 18 Bricklink orders here. So, 320, four bucks, 230 lots. Not too many parts. And Brick Owl, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, not too crazy. Only 89 lots, so let's see what I can get done before seven. All right, we have it all ready to go. Almost 5.30 in theory, I should be able to get all these packed up, but it just takes a while to wrap everything up. If it was one order for 300 lots, I could do it, but we'll see how far we can get. Halfway through brick all. Here's an all black order. Lots of bricks I just put up from the Hogwarts train. So we sold that 20 by 56 wing for five bucks. So 
it is inside of there. It pretty much goes the whole length of this. See it in there? So I'm going to have to figure out, I think I have a poly bag as long as this, but I might have to put two together. But this is a brick out order, number six of eight, two more to go. I was able to cut off another inch. I taped it really good, seal at each end, and it fits in my largest bag, so that is a win. And here's the order of the tan. They messed up the thing getting some gray though. But all tan, except that one part. Twelve lots, all new, one bag, 39 parts. Simple. Sold my first chicken from the fan mail. I get the kids got a couple too, but and I see three zero zero two. Chicken in a bag. Well here's a nice $65 order that took about 10 minutes to pull. There's 44 lots though, 63 items, but a lot of minifigs and not very many quantities, so lots of animals and people. Alright, I got about half of the Bricklink order sizes at least done. This one is done here. Here it is. The winner of the day is the $8 little dragon from Elves. Just put it up on Friday, I think. Thursday or Friday. Bought some other Elves things, capes. Small instruction book that I had. Some friends. So, nice little order for um, $56 here. Saturday's mail. I think I got like 30 of each. <laughs> Tan, white, and dark blue. Just, they're all new. So, I just was running out of them. I'm sure I can find some, but this is easier. I'll use them eventually. And we got one package from Target. Ten of these. $19.99 full price. But with those two figures and the parts, I wanted it. I think I have a few more coming. Alright, some low on blue still, which are the most common. It's easy to find. I usually don't buy those. Red, I think I've bought those before. It's only like two sand blue. It's a few green. I started a light, a dark bush gray one here, but I have mostly grays in here, all the different, all four colors, and some random mix match stuff, lots of orange in there. Alright, time to rebuild. These are all mixed up. Star Wars, Ninjago, things that I don't think I can build, series, and then these I'm putting away for sure. I sold three of these, and then two sets of the uh, Battle at Helm's Deep instruction books. There's a four instructions I got, so very nice. All right, just got done listing almost all the stuff. I just I left the castle stuff here because it's my least organized, and I just figure I'll do it in the morning. I won't have too much more tomorrow, or maybe tonight. So let's see what we have going on. 1,223 listings. And after all that, I'm gonna just see what I can buy on my wanted list. Start out with one order. Uh, 36 lots. Some good stuff he had, good prices. He knows what draws me in. Four of those guys, it's a good price. Well, the sun was out and um, about 20 degrees, no wind, so it wasn't too bad, but I had I've been struggling to break eight minutes in the last three runs. I think this will be the fourth one, I think, because just uh, winter, and it's slippery. It snowed yesterday, so it wasn't the best grip. All right, I'm just going through this. I'm gonna try and clean up all this. And uh, got a few drawers out, throwing some things in. I don't know how to get done. I have less than two hours left, and I'm gonna head out and get the mail real quick. All right, we have a mail situation here, where, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, Bricklink order. From all things figured out, $50 minimum in that store, so that's some good stuff. I go there a lot. Uh, this is from Constructibles, or I think they changed the name to Brick Fans. And I remember when I joined Bricklink, they had a story on their store. I thought it was interesting. And then uh, Plastic Replay, I guess this is. I'm not sure why I came here. I came here for these mini dolls, I guess. Not sure what drew me to this store. I think it was actually this, and then they said it was damaged. 
and they gave me a refund for it, but still scented, I think. Another one from Poor Boy Bricks. Seem to be adding some good stuff. Quality has been better. Um, but you better keep on buying, keep on going. If something's wrong, obviously you just ask for a refund if something's broken. And then this is from Joe Nick Toys. He does like the custom sticker clone troopers, I think. And he also has Bricklink. Not sure why. Oh, I think I came here for these heads that were supposed to be the silver ones. Maybe, maybe not. Could be wrong. I'll check on that. This is uh, from For the Girls. Hey. One thing was missing out of my last order, and then they just sent this as a replacement. That is not the helmet that I was... It's supposed to be the Stormtrooper style. It's not. Weird. <clears throat> um, and then this. Not sure who this is from, but another order. Ooh, Baby Yoda sticker. Little Womp Rats. I think I came here for... I needed, I needed some small reddish brown legs. So we got those, and I got some 3x3 three three bags. <laughs> they look like a good, some good stuff. Oh, this one. I kind of... <laughs> this is all wet and falling apart here. Ordered this like, and they're before Christmas actually. I think I still have three orders that are from. This is actually wet in here a little bit. Three orders from before Christmas. Actually in November that are still aren't here. Yeah, there's water on this. It's on our porch and a little bit of snow. And uh, just a bunch of these. I came here to get more of these. And I, was, I was out of them. They had the best deal. So some other things to sell or part out. We don't know yet. We'll go through this some other day on another video probably to see all the everything that's in here. Nope, you did good. I, I did order those ones. You got it right. So I must have needed those too. I checked on this. It's only three different items. I got 33 Dredicas, 25 El Fuego, and 30 U-Wings. So I'll probably part out some of those U-Wings for sure. Why did I buy 25 of these El Fuego poly bags? I don't know. I already have, um, just, I just did like a mock part out. I already have 10 legs. I have eight torsos, <laughs> and I have seven heads already, and the helmets I have five, so they're a dollar sixty each, I guess it's not too bad, I mean you're getting, I mean I've sold some of the helmets I know for sure, and then you get some other little pieces that are worth pennies, <laughs> oh well, the three bucks, so yeah, I'll make about 70 cents in the end on each one, maybe. Here's how we turn this torso into, ooh, I sold, sold this guy for four dollars recently. So, we just find the stuff. We go into here, there's tan head, tan hair I mean, red, dark, is dark red? Is this dark red? Yeah, dark red legs. And then I know I keep those, I think, in the fire? Those heads in here, but I have other heads too. Um, we just won't keep looking in there. So there's going to be some in here somewhere. Let's see, I have been taking them out quite a bit. Here's one. There we go. So we'll put him for sale right away.